वेलकम टू योजना आई एस टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कार्ल मार्क्स एंड हाउ कार्ल मार्क्स हैज कंसेप्चुअलाइज सोसाइटी नाउ कार्ल मार्क्स हैज कंसेप्चुअलाइज सोसाइटी इन सिक्स स्टेजेस फोर आर हिस्टोरिकल एंड टू आर फ्यूचरिस्टिक सो इन हिस्टोरिकल स्टेजेस ही सेट दैट द सोसाइटी वुड बिगिन और एट द स्टार्ट वुड be from primitive communism where the production will be a community affair now if you see the production will be community affair then the society must have been an egalitarian society now if the society is an egalitarian society that means there is no surplus production now if there is no surplus production that means in this society there will be no classes so no class means there will be no one who is rich or poor further karl marx said that the society would transform into an ancient or slave society now in ancient and slave society society will produce surplus so once surplus is produced there would be conflict conflict for what to own production or to own the surplus now once there is a conflict that means there will be generation of class that means there will be masters and slaves in this society now masters will be the one who will be having full control over slaves now karl marx said that this society would further transform into a feudal society and here the mode of production would be agriculture now if you see the mode of production is agriculture that means the means of production would be land now karl marx says that in this society we will have we'll have a division of class between lords and serfs now lords will be the one who will be the land owners and serfs will be the one who will be landless right Karl Marx further said that this society would transform into a capitalistic society. Now, capitalist society will have a mode of production, industry. So, the emergence of class in this industry would be between bourgeois, who will be referred as haves, and the proletariats. they will be referred as have nots now karl marx said that this society will also be an unstable society so there will be further transformation and we will have a socialist mode of production now in this socialist mode of production the forces of production will be owned by the proletariat so we can say that in this society proletariat would topple bourgeois though this will happen for a short period of time but it is bound to occur according to karl marx now he says that the final stage would be advanced communism now in this the forces of production will be communally owned that is the mode of production
will have collective ownership so this was the brief idea of marx dynamic model of society uh, there is much more in detail uh, other than that through this analysis we can say that uh, this is how he said that matter would determine the course of history so thank you so much